a very good day to you, my brothers and sisters. I have a very wonderful word of encouragement for you, especially for those that have been weary. For you who have been going through a spiritual attack and you have been asking God, when will it come to an end? Some of you have been crying all day, all year, year in and year out. You have been crying to God for deliverance, to God for direction. I have this word for you. Before I begin this word, I would like to encourage you to like, share, subscribe. If you want to uh, send me your message, if you want me to pray for you, you can send me a message through my WhatsApp number and my email address all those details are in the about section of this channel and if you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving you can do so through my paypal or through western union all my details are in the about section of this channel if you want more details send me a message and i will respond to you my brothers and sisters today's powerful word is they are so broken. Your enemies are broken. Those that you thought were stronger than you are on the ground. Those that used to despise you are down. Those that used to mock you are weak right now. They thought that they would get away with their mockery. They thought that they would get away with their negative words. My brothers and sisters, God has done it for you. Just God has done it for you to show you how powerful he is. Of course, God is powerful. He's omnipotent. He's all-knowing. He's omniscient. They thought that they were more clever than you. Some of them thought that they were more wiser than you. But they are broken. Because they cannot step on you anymore. Some of you, people have been stepping on you. Someone is watching me right now. You have someone who has been using you as a ladder. You have been a ladder to someone. The people that are at the top, they went through you. While you were waiting, while they were promoted, before you were left there. But I want to encourage you that God is going to lift you up. Higher than your enemies. And when they see you, they will truly know that God is in you. One of my favorite scriptures says that, Show me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see and be put to shame. Those that are pronounced death on you will be put to shame. Some of you, your businesses were dying. Your relationships were dying because of someone. Someone that kept on pronouncing someone that kept on speaking death over your businesses some of you that divorce was spiritual you think it's just physical all of a sudden you you you, you wake up in the morning and your spouse starts acting in a in a very strange way it is because there's someone responsible for that some of you the people that you divorced with their families practiced witchcraft their families were against you. They were against that, that marriage. They were against that relationship. Had you prayed at that time, you would have saved your life. You would have saved your relationships. But don't you worry. They meant evil for you, but God means good. There are people that cast you, people that said evil to you. But the time has come where they are going to see you rise up. Some of you, God is realigning you to your destiny. He's realigning you to your purpose. Some of you had gone astray. Some of you, the enemy had put you into other things. The enemy had locked you down. But God is opening up doors for you that no man will shut. Look at the story of the children of Israel who were in bondage, in slavery who were tormented by the Egyptians for a very long time, not one year, not 50 years, too many years. They were tormented. They cried out to God for a deliverer. 
day and night they cried out. They made sacrifices to God that God would hear their cry. It, seems as, it seemed as though that God was not hearing them, but God was listening to them. And one day, God sent a deliverer, and that was Moses. God used Moses to deliver his children out of bondage. Moses, who had studied the Egyptian culture, Moses was well versed with the Egyptian culture, customs, and the language. So it was easier for him to go and approach Pharaoh. Even when he thought he, couldn't, he could not approach Pharaoh. God had placed that in him. My brothers and sisters, out of you, God is bringing out a deliverer. God is bringing out deliverers. That when people look at you, they will say, how did you break through? Just like the midwife. She thought that the other son was supposed to come out first. So she put a scarlet. It so happened that one came out, the one that she never expected. And she said, how did you break through? And she said, may this breach be upon you. Actually, the, the name of the, the, the son, was the, the baby, was named Therese. Some of you, you are going to come out of that difficult situation. If you only believe in God, if you can only stand still, and know that he is God. Be still. Be still in your situation. When people are mocking you. When people are saying all sorts of negative words. Be still. Don't listen to their words. Listen to what God says about you. Because that is all that matters. Brothers and sisters. Those that were stepping on you. Will be no more. Those that were uh, pushing you to and fro, tormenting you, they're, not, they're going to be no more because God has risen you up. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of this word. I hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Remember to share this word. Remember to let someone know of this powerful message. Until next time, may God bless you.